All right, just a little update. I have uh, spent the morning having a great deal of fun. Uh, I saw a little demo on a, a sword fighting thing where the um, he had the AI falling apart and dismembering, and I thought, okay, well, that's kind of good. I want to be able to do that. Uh, he had some comments on with a vague description on how to do it, so I investigated. Made a little model in Blender, um, just a, a really quick, basic sort of robot model. I didn't even texture or anything, but uh, if I was going to do it properly, so it's got a little aerial and each each. But the difference is each piece is separate. So each one has its own bone and each piece, instead of doing one mesh like you normally would, each, each, each one is a separate piece in order for you to make it dismemberable. So uh, the cool thing is I just made a, a quick character. I haven't even finished my uh, rebuilding my main character yet because, um, well, I got bored uh, redoing it after uh, figuring out I made a mistake. Uh, with this guy, as you can see, um, I stuffed up the scaling in Blender and I needed to uh, re redo him so that the physics asset would work properly. And so in doing that, I go playing with physics asset and decided this morning that for some reason that I was going to build this guy. So he is the robot sentry guy with a basic, uh, you know, <laughs> as quick as I could build him. Uh, he's got a little skeleton, so he just I've just got him on a wander task. So he just cruises around looking for someone to attack, even though he hasn't got a hitbox like that fella over there. So anyway, the fun bit. So I can chop him up, and he falls to pieces, and then I can scoot around his little little bits and pieces very accurately, which is with his little aerial. See, look at this, pushing it around. Look at that. How cool is this engine? Ah, oh, and I've got a little spawner, so they spawn more, so I can keep having fun by smashing them to pieces. So at the moment, there's no weapon swing animations. His head's a little fun funky. I think it might be the texture being too complex, but sometimes when you hit it, it disappears. So you can sort of push him around with the sword, which is kind of cool. I need to increase the weight, I guess, or decrease the sword weight right down. So you can push him around. He keeps going for his wanted task, and then I can hit him, and he and he falls to pieces. And then his little head rolls away, which I think is fantastic. So with a bit of, um, I don't know, oil squirting out uh, and some cool sound effects, um, I think a robot sentry would be very cool uh, to have. And so, yeah, if you need to know how to achieve this, just hit me up in the comments. I can help you out. But the, the gist of it is that you create a physics asset. Each piece is a separate piece instead of one mesh, or else it'll stretch and contort and be ridiculous. Each mesh owns one bone. You make a a simple um, physics asset with each each bone in order, and then delete the constraints. So on on when you do the physics uh, simulation, the constraints vanish, and each piece becomes separate and linked with its bone, which is fantastic. It's a cool effect, and I hope to um, eventually. Yeah, you can see I've messed up his skeleton. Oh, keep it to yourself, buddy. Oh, there we go. So I've got these guys spawning every 30 seconds, and uh, yeah, I can just play with these guys for hours, play sword soccer, push their little bits and pieces around. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, do recommend. Um, I, I will be implementing some of this in the game now that I understand a little better how it works. I have to build separate. I'm thinking beetles and things that come apart when you when you destroy them. Now I imagine each of these bits is pretty heavy on the on the on the server and stuff, so I'd I'd have them only last for like I have here like thirty seconds before they disappear. But uh hello again. Come back here. Yeah, that's great. So much uh so much fun and such a realistic kind of movement. So uh yeah. Anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll keep working on my fixed character, bring in the animations and then hopefully I can get some actual sword fighting going. Uh, which is very difficult, but I'm starting to understand things. I've got a plugin to install from Rama that uh, tells you which bone was hit, and um, I hope to make sort of fighting animations that kind of ragdoll when they're hit, get knocked back, and then kind of come back to their regular self. But we'll see how clever I can be. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, I could I could literally play with this for hours. I'm sure it could uh, be the beginnings of some fairly interesting games, like maybe a golf game or something like that. But stick with the program. Uh, it's all about the sword fighting. Okay, maybe one more. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs>